hello everyone welcome back in this video i'll show you how to reduce a fraction to its lowest term to reduce a fraction to its lowest term divide the numerator and denominator by their highest common factor as we know how to find an equivalent fraction it was by multiplying the same number in the numerator and denominator but here we are going to divide the numerator and denominator by the same common factor which is greatest common factor which is divisible by both the numbers now let us do some examples our first question is 9 by 15 9 and 15 are commonly divisible by 3 so i am dividing numerator and denominator by 3 so i will get the answer 3 3 is a 9 and 3 5 is a 15 now just check whether 3 and 5 are commonly divisible by any number no so 3 by 5 is the answer a fraction is said to be in its lowest term if the numerator and the denominator have only one as its common factor as we saw in the last example 3 by 5 has only one as its common factor now our next example is 8 by 24 i will show this in two ways first let us divide by 4 8 divided by 4 and 24 divided by 4 8 divided by 4 will give you 2 24 divided by 4 will give you 6 now again 2 and 6 are commonly divisible by 2 so divide by 2 on numerator and denominator 2 1s are 2, 2 6, 2 3s are 6. So 1 by 3 is the answer. And we cannot divide this again. So this is the answer. The other way is 8 by 24. I can divide this by 8 directly as 8 is divisible by both 8 and 24. Now 8 1s are 8 and 8 3s are 24 next 10 by 60 this also i will show in two methods 10 divide by 10 both numerator and denominator 10 ones are 10 and 10 six are 60 our answer is 1 by 6 as we cannot divide this again we will stop with this other method is 10 by 60 we have zeros in the in the numerator and denominator we can cut those zeros and we can write the answer as 1 by 6 next question 100 by 500 so here we can cancel two two zeros in the numerator and denominator the answer will be 1 by 5 next question 120 divided by 150 there are 0 in the numerator and denominator i cancelled it now i got 12 by 15 now we can find a common factor to divide this let us take 3 so we can divide this both by 3 3 fourths are 12 and 3 fives are 15. So our answer will be 4 by 5. Now let us do the next question. 44 by 45. Is it possible to divide this in any of the common factor? No, there is no common factor. So, 44 by 45 we can leave as it is. Coming to the next question, it is 39 by 90 and both are divisible by 3. 
three ones are three and three threes are nine. Coming to the denominator, three threes are nine, three zeros are zero. Now it is not possible for us to divide again. Next question. 27 by 81. Both are commonly divisible by 3. Let me take 3 first. 27 is 9 times and this is 3 twos are 6 and the remaining 2 is kept near 1. 3 sevens are 21. Now again, this both are divisible in 9. So let me take 9 as the highest common factor. 9 ones are 9 and 9 threes are 27. So with this, our sum is over. We can do in other way. You can take the number and divide it by 9 in the numerator and denominator. So, 9 3s are 27 and 9 9s are 81. Again, this 3 by 9 is commonly divisible by 3. We can write, divide by 3 in the numerator and denominator and then 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9. Just check with any other common factors. I hope all have understood. Thank you for watching.